Welcome everyone. So today I'm going to explain you how to find percentages with a brilliant, brilliant trick. Okay, trust me, this trick is going to be like so much easier for you once you start solving percentages. Actually, this trick is important for anyone who is looking at percentages or who has percentages in their syllabus. Okay. And don't worry, I'm going to show you actually two tricks. Okay, one of them is going to be like really, really easy. You can literally do this in your head. And the other one will be applicable, will be applicable in all scenarios. Okay, all scenarios. The first one which I'm telling you with which you can literally do it in your head is applicable in certain scenarios. But the second trick is mind blowing. Okay, so you can actually... Use the first trick when that kind of scenario turns up and the second trick will be working for all the scenarios. Okay, so now let's look at the first scenario. See, please understand x percent of y is always equal to y percent of x. This is something which is very, very important for all of you all to remember. So now see if I say, uh, tell me 20, sorry. Tell me, let's say I want 12% uh, of 25, okay? That means I'm trying to say 25% of 12. And see, let's write it mathematically. We have to, see, in percentages, you need to know that whenever you have a percentage sign means in front of a number, that means you are just have to write this in fraction form as nothing but that number divided by 100, okay? So one very important thing you all need to remember is 5 upon 100 means basically that is what? 5%, okay? Then we have 25%, 50%, also 10%, 20%, uh, then you have 75%, okay? So basically, see, 5, five upon 100 is nothing but what? 1 upon 20. 25 upon 100 will be what? 1 upon 4. 50% is 1 upon 2. 75% is 3 upon 4. 10% is 1 upon 10. 20% will be what? 1 upon 5. Okay. So I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. Those of you who do not know this, please take a screenshot at this particular point in the video because this is going to be like super important for anyone who is preparing for percentages. Okay. So now going back, like I said, we have what? 12% of 25. See, looking at the question becomes very difficult. But when, you, sorry. Yeah. And if you want to find 12, 25% of 12, that becomes what? 1 upon 4. Off is nothing but 1 multiplication and into 12. So, 1s are and 3s are. So, final answer comes out to be what? 3. For both of these questions, the answer will be what? Just 3. But because I just switched it and you already know in your head that what is 25%? 25% is nothing but just 1 upon 4. So, you just divide this number by 4 and get your answer. Okay. So, similarly, let's try for your question which was what? 4% of 75. Let's flip this. This will be what 75% of 4 and 75% is nothing but what 3 upon 4 into 4 that gets cancelled 4 and 4 so final answer over here also comes out to be just 3 okay let's let's try for few more 13% of 50 okay this looks tricky right so let's switch this it will be what 50% of 13 now this is easy 50% is nothing but just what 1 upon 2 into 13. So here gets cancelled. You get answer as 6.5 is the answer for what 15% of 13 or we want to find 13% of 15. Both of them the answer will always be 6.5. So I hope you all are getting how to do this. Okay. So now let's go to the second trick like i said that the second trick is applicable to every scenario okay now where there will be time when you won't be your first trick will not work okay let's first understand when your first trick will not work when obviously either of the numbers are not falling into what five 
10, 20, 25, 50, 75. If these are not the numbers, then things get a bit tricky. Means, let's say, if you wanted to find 15% of, um, let's say, 45. Okay, so in this scenario, things get a bit trickier. So, what I would suggest is we'll go to the second method. Now, please understand, whenever you want to find any percentage, any percentage of any number, okay? So, in that, I can say that 10% of 45 would be what? It would be 4.5. Now, how did I do that? See, 10% is nothing but what? 1 upon 10, right? So, you divide, sorry, you multiply 1 upon 10 with 45. Similarly, if you wanted 100%, 100% of 45 means what you are doing 100 upon 100 into 45. So, here your answer comes out to be 45. Okay. So, if I want to do 10%, so you just put divide this answer by 10. Similarly, if I want to do 1%, 1% of 45. So, what I will do, I will divide this 4.5 by what again 10. Okay. So, that is nothing but what? 0.45 okay so see let me explain this one more time okay let me just explain this one more time okay so what happens in this case is see 100 percent of 45 will be what just 45 10 percent of 45 will be what 45 divided by 10 that gets you what 4.5 1 percent of 45 will be what Again, you can divide 45 by 100 or you divide 4.5 by 10, whatever works for you. So, your answer comes out to be what? 4.5, 0 0.45, right? Now, here, what is your question? Your question is 15%. So, I can do what? 15%, I can split it as nothing but what? 10% plus 5%, right? And now, since I know the answer of 1%, the answer of 1% is 0.45 so if i multiply this by 5 i'll get the answer for 5% right so 5% will be of 45 will now get you what it would be 5 to carry so 2 2.25 and you want the answer for 15% so you just have to add 4.5 plus 2.25 so final answer for this one would be what 6.75 okay i know while explaining it gets a bit tricky and you think no no this is so difficult and all of that let's do one more okay let's try and do let's say we want to find 12 percent of uh, uh, let's say 7 so again we will do what first we'll find 1 percent okay 1 percent of 7 is nothing but what 0 0.07 so, 2% of 7 would be what? Just multiply everything by 2. So, you will get 0 0.14. Okay. And 12, like I said, we can split this as nothing but what? 10 plus 2. So, 10% of 7 will be what? 0 0.7. So, final answer will be what? Just adding these two will be 0 0.84. Okay. This is how, my dear friends, you can do percentages. Okay. Now, one more. Let's try the last example and at the, then I will give you a DIY whose answers you can mention in the comment section. Okay. So, let's try for a tricky one uh, which is, um, let's do 9%. 9% of uh, 13 is what? Okay. So, we'll do what? Either you do 10% minus 1%. But I suggest don't do minuses because your, your answers normally tend to be in decimals. So, never go for minuses. Either you do what? 5% plus, sorry, you do 5% and then you add 4% to it. It is easier. So, first we'll do 1%. 1% of 13 is what? 0 0.13. So, 5% will be what? 0 0.65. And 4% will be what? 0.52 right so now all you have to do is just add these two to get your 9% so final answer is what 7 11 1.17 that my dear friends is the answer 
for this tricky looking question. Now for your DIY, please tell me what will be 7% of 14. Please tell me your answers in the comment section. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.